Hi MTV and welcome to my tub. I know what you're thinking. Megan, what are we doing in your bathroom? Are we spilling any more tea? Are we filling a whole tub up with tea? No. Hi, Winslow. Something a little bit different. I recently saw an article from the Melbourne Zoo where they made like an exercise pool for their snakes because a lot of their snakes are ambush predators and they've gotten very obese and they needed a safe way to help the animals lose weight. Y'all already know that if someone else's reptile gets something bougie, we all know who's getting it next. Huh, blubs. As we can see, Winslow's quite attractive with the tub. This isn't a really place he can really access because the sides don't have any good grip for him to crawl up. So the only time he's really in here is if I like physically put him in it. He doesn't take baths in here very much either because I don't actually know how to turn the bath spigot on in my shower for some reason, so we gotta fill it up by the uh, sprinkler head. Not sprinkler head. Shower head. Basically in the video they made like a little gentle wave, so I'm also gonna do that. Fill the tub up about this much. You know, I don't wanna fill it all the way up and just throw them in, you know, like that's not, that's not cool. He's probably gonna poop in the bath as well later, so poop warning now. Very handsome today. Very handsome. Here, go explore the bath. Go explore the bath. It's a place you haven't pooped yet. One small step for Winslow, one giant poop for Winslow Kind. Yes, and if you missed last week's video, we covered the recent pet tube drama. I will link that video at the end if you would like some tea. Because girl, it's, it's still hot. Also, I called the tea, so. Winslow, I really hope you enjoy this. I've never seen Winslow swim, so I don't know how this is going to go. He might just realize he can float and do nothing. Who knows? Uh, but we're gonna get into that. We're also gonna see if my geckos are gonna be able to do this. Cause here's the thing, Winslow's very much the guinea pig for this. Cause he doesn't need to lose any weight. He's very lean, very good, not overweight at all. There is however one animal that needs it. And she's the least likely I know to probably get into the tub. We are also gonna try with Mr. Peanut Butter just cause he, very much likes different, um, you know, stimulation, and he likes to be out of his cage, likes to explore, likes to be stimulated through different ways. So I think he might enjoy it. It's just hard because sometimes if I spray him down or anything like that when he's in shed, um, he hates it. But hey, this is a learning experience for us all. We're gonna go ahead, fill her up, condition the water, and get this little experiment on the road. Winslow's very excited. We tested this out last night. All right, so before we can continue our little bathtub experiment, we do have to condition the water because the water where I live is very hard. So this looks to be about five gallons. So it says one teaspoon of improved rope to save per five gallons of tap water. So I do have a tablespoon, but I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna fill it up all the way. So I feel like that's about a third. Go. That's it for a minute before we get our favorite little dragon. Oh, a Winslow, the most beautiful boy in the world. Oh, all right. So we're gonna put Winslow in the bath for a quick second. I'm gonna put him in this side. This side's a little shallower. He does like baths. He doesn't mind bathing. I just haven't filled up a bathtub before. Honey, you like it? Comment now at what point in the video you think Winslow is going to take a massive poo in the bathtub. Cause it's coming, he hasn't pooped this morning. Alright, I'm gonna let him get adapted and then we're gonna we're gonna start the waves. Cause the one thing about the zoo that they did is they like created like waves. Right now I just wanna get him adapted to the water. He is now water dragon. He is now water dragon. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, 
oh look I figured out how to make waves with my terribly unpainted toenails Ooh, they're nice and gentle so it's getting a swimming I should have bought him a little life jacket oh man how do I make a life jacket for my Winslow <laughs> Tune in for next week where we make a DIY life jacket for your lizard. Because remember, lizard safety is our top priority. I uh, greatly underestimated how deeply I needed to make this water. <laughs> He's never looked so unimpressed in his life. Right now, I think his only thing he wants is just to poop in it. It's unexplored territory. He's never pooped in the bathtub. Winslow, are you gonna poop where you've never pooped before? That's honestly the whole purpose of this video now. I thought it was gonna be like so cute, he would be able to swim, but he just looks very, very unimpressed. Mazo, if you could look a little bit more appreciative. I cleaned my tub for you. I mean, his butt's kind of floating, that's kind of cool. Ha, <laughs> and y'all thought you were done seeing poo on my channel. Winslow is a poo machine. All right, let's get you out of here, bud. Oh. Look who it is, contestant number two. Let's see if he does a lot better than contestant number one. Looking very handsome though today. Very handsome. Let's just see how he likes it. Hey, you don't want to swim? Let's try one more time. Teach my gecko to swim. Big giant nope. Mr. Peanut Butter does not enjoy swimming time, but he does like looking at the bath. Yeah, I'm trying to crawl up my shirt because we are now the same color. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my video for Monday. I put Winslow back in the bath. You want him back in the bath, I don't know why. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to hit subscribe. If you're new here, join the Beangdom where we sit around and we worship our queen bee. But anyways guys, I will see you guys on Friday with a new video. Um, go ahead and follow us on social media if you want to hang out with us there. And I love you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So come say goodbye to your adoring fans. Bye!